Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts 2 Pro Stamp Critical. On the last part, we did some grinding to get our forms maxed out so we can actually do the Cave of Remembrance. I can't talk right now. Do the Cave of Remembrance. And now I will continue to do that so I can actually do stuff in said Cave of Remembrance. So, yeah, gonna be another... Oh, God, it's loud. Gonna be another shorter part, but it's fine. Uh, gonna stop before 4 o'clock, because the PC game show thing starts. Oh, my God, what the hell? PC game show starts, and I don't think they're gonna have anything too crazy to announce, but, like, maybe they'll have something cool. I thought Xbox's showcase was kind of lame, personally. I mean, other than Persona, but even that freaking didn't excite me whatsoever because uh, it got leaked. So, um, thank you. I mean, I would have still been kind of excited, but otherwise, I mean, even Persona doesn't save it. It, it was just kind of boring. There was nothing too exciting. So, the Monkey Island Sea of Thieves crossover was kind of neat, even though I haven't played either of those series. Like, it's cool to see an older franchise I haven't played get love. I mean, all I know is that Monkey Island exists. But, like, I mean, hey, it's an old franchise. At least they're giving it some stuff, right? Not, yeah, I hope uh, Capcom showcase is good. Because otherwise there's a lot of mid. I don't expect Ubisoft to announce anything. Because, I mean, they're Ubisoft. But, I mean, maybe they'll have some Mario Rabbit 2 news or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty sick. I can't wait. Wow, I'm level 60. Okay, I just gotta get to level 5 here. Oh, wait. I just noticed the doors have arrows on them. Showing what... Bruh, I hit the end. It should have let me do it. I, I did it right. Okay, well. Whatever, we're almost done down here. Oh yeah, I was gonna max out final form. I think after that, I'm gonna try to frickin' do the cave again, and max form while I'm in there instead. Cause I just think that's more convenient. Ah, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, that was kind of cool. Get out of here. Back here. One hundred and one enemies remaining. 
Yeah, it should take like 10 minutes or something. Yeah, I just noticed that it has an up arrow, so I, it's easier to tell which ones are the door I went last, went to last, and which one actually goes the right way. I just never noticed because I'm a big silly. Crap, I'm running out of form stuff. This way, yeah. Uh, I'll just go to make it, to play it safe. Ah, not bad, 75. Okay, so we knock out about like 30 enemies each run through this tower. Yeah, quick and easy up this tower. What do we got now? What do we got here? 50. Okay, so two more tower climbs should get me up there. To max level. Yeah, it is pretty cool, isn't it? It's got all the... It's got a couple Kirby's, it's got the... freaking Star block thing. Some candy canes at the bottom that you can't see. It's pretty neat. Oh, maybe I'll be able to beat them. No, 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 oh, no, damn it. Well, I'll have to get more freaking drive points, so I'll have to go up the tower two more times, rather than one more. But it'll be worth it when I max out this one. Quick and easy grinding. Oh, well, more than a little bit, but 
Hopefully, I'll mitigate some of the grinding by being able to grind while I'm inside the tower area. Because basically, I'm sorry, not tower, um, there's this cave that's like a post-game, like, area. And, um, the forms you use in the game basically give you abilities that you use to progress in this cave. Whereas in the first game, you would, like, just acquire these abilities throughout, like, the main story campaign. In this game, you have to, like, level up your different, like, attack forms to get, like, high jump, double jump, and, like, glide and stuff to different levels. So, that's the gist of it, basically. Yeah, Goofy is using his epic spin. So, I gotta fill up the form gauge first, and then... I'll be able to do that again. Yeah, basically. There's an easy way to cheese the form gauge, because I can just go to any save point before it's about to run out, leave, and then come back, and then it's fully restored. So that's what I generally do when I'm trying to level up the forms. Because, you know, to level them up, I gotta actually be in the form to use them. And I don't have enough drive energy right now to do that. Yeah. Basically. I gotta get it to level 5 to use the final form. I'm excited to get the Kingdom Hearts 3 eventually for my own personal playthrough, I mean, because I still got a beat in Raindrop, which is the 3DS one. I don't hate that game, but, like, eh, it's not one of my favorites. Either. Like, it has some a lot of fun elements, I just don't really like the story, and I feel like it's too easy. I'll give it another chance on this adventure or channel in like two years or something or three. But as is, it's an okay game. With a mid story. Yeah, like 358, a lot of people don't like the gameplay of, but like. Well, there's Recoded, which. Okay, I can't really defend that. I hear the game, the actual gameplay of that game is fun kind of fun, but this X story has no reason to exist, so it's completely, like, mostly skippable title with, like, basically no bearing on the, you know, major... Wait, what the hell? My My PC... My freaking phone jump scared me. I don't know why it's making noise. Oh, it must be the YouTube or something. Bro, what are you doing? Okay. Yeah, it was a jump scare. Yeah. I mean, I watched the movie, didn't like it, but I'd probably have fun with the game if I tried it, at least. By movie, I mean the one on the HD collection, because they just do cutscenes for the DS game, sadly. Like, as much as they didn't need to have recoded the game on here, I think that would make it more bearable than having a three-hour cutscene movie of a mid... already mid-story. Like, it, it, the, the mid-story would be more easy to take in if I was playing a game with it, probably. At least, like... I could forgive it if I got to play the game. And, yeah, like, Dream Drop is kind of a divisive entry. A lot, some people love it, some people hate it. Same thing with Birth by Sleep, but I like Birth by Sleep a lot. Like, too many people compare that one to Kingdom Hearts 2, and they're like, Oh, the controls are too floaty, and I'm like, bro, I don't care. I mean, then again, the combat isn't really, like, do or die for me. I mean, in such a, like, lore-centric like, franchise. Like, having a game that just is there for one excuse in the plot and then nothing else. It, it kind of is just dumb. 
Because, like, I can understand them making some random spin-off and having it for fun. Like, you know, Melody Memory, that's... That game has reason to exist. I mean, that's just a fun game. For, like, celebrating the franchise with the music and crap. But, Recode it. You could just not have a story at all. Like, I would forgive it more if it didn't try to be more than it passes off as. Like, bro. All it does is answer what the freaking letter is at the end of Kingdom Hearts 2. Melody Memory is the, uh, the music switch. Yeah, the, the GBA one's Chain of Memory. But close. Nice, we got it. Okay, revert. Okay, I don't know why I actually reverted, but whatever. Max level flying. Yeah, I like the GBA game, honestly. I think it's pretty fun. Even though it can get kind of repetitive. True. I don't know. As long as you're following the games in, like, release order, I think the story is pretty understandable. People are like, oh, the story is confusing. No, it's not. It really isn't that confusing, bro. You just gotta actually pay attention to the game instead of watching, like, a freaking 30-minute lore video. Like, obviously, you're not gonna understand the story if you're not consuming it the way it was meant to be portrayed. Like, bruh. Our videos could be helpful, but, like, they're not, like, the do or die. That's fair. I mean, those are two pretty good series. Okay, let's try to go back to this KU. Um, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Scrimmelow Summer. I mean, I got, I got a lot on my belt. I got Sonic Origins Plus. I got Clonoa, which I'm probably gonna get. I already own Pac-Man because it was on sale. Um, and maybe some other surprises, like, am I gonna play Mario games again? I don't actually know. I mean, if I feel like it, I might, but I don't know. Oh yeah, I got Sonic Adventure 2 planned, of course, after all this KH2 is said and done. Been like a good couple four months or so of this series, but it's gonna end eventually.
Okay, um, I'll just figure it out, I guess. Surely there's some way to get up there, right? Do I need to max out the freaking double jump? High jump, whatever. Let me just look it up. Okay, well, I guess I can level up Bela for him while I'm here. Hold up. I will figure this out. And this Maybe this thing has something to do with it? Probably not. Huh? Valves? Okay, he said to attack three valves. Me when Kingdom Hearts 2 actually has environmental interactions. This is a certified KH1 moment. Okay, I have to attack something here. Oh, he said there's a different room that has valves that you have to attack. Or something. Okay, I guess I can check the mine shaft. So wait, maybe this... No, that is nothing. Okay, no idea. Wait a minute, what is this? No, that doesn't help me either. Bruh. Okay, I'm gonna check the first room. Yeah, nothing really here that I can interact with. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna just grind a bit more and then figure it out as I go. Maybe I just need double jump. Or high jump.
Oh, bruh. I, I don't know how long I was muted. Um. Anyway, I basically I just didn't see this cave area right here because it kind of blended in with everything. But otherwise, it was pretty easy. Oh, okay. This is basically TikTok Clock Mario 64 right here. Is there enemies at the bottom? No, but... Oh wait, bruh, I'm back down here. Okay, that's fine. No, I just mean the platforms remind me of it. They look the same. Mostly just some tricky platforming question mark. Well, not really tricky, but I keep forgetting where I am. Oh, it's those things from the Land of Dragons. Yeah, it literally is TikTok Lock. It also kind of, me, kind of reminds me of the frickin' uh, Disney Town area in Kingdom Hearts Breath by Sleep. It's one of my favorite areas in that game. It's got a lot of scrimblowy platform vibes there. Bro, this is the best design area in this whole game got like actual moving parts things you can interact with in the environment that's the stuff I want in this game bro well, at least they made up for it somewhat like I know the main thing about Kingdom Hearts is the combat but I just like the the environment design a lot too If it doesn't really got that, then I'm not having as much fun with it. But everyone has their own ways they have fun with Kingdom Hearts, so like... If this is someone's favorite Kingdom Hearts, I, I, I mean, I, I, it's still in my top three. But, like... It's hard for me to look past it, you know? Because, like, more areas should have been like this. This is peak right here. Okay. Cleverly designed little labyrinth over here. Okay, um... I think I have to, like, finesse my way around... Oh, wait. Oh, no. Is this an, isn't this that earlier room? I don't know. Oh, there's another map. Power boost. Oh. Now, if I jump down there, I'm back to square one. Damn it, now I'm stuck in here. How do I get past that? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna ask Griff again. Hold up. Oof. 
Got it. Okay, let me just fix this here. Boom, okay. Oh, next room? Uh-oh, we got more back. Oh, hey, it's the pirate guys from Kingdom Hearts 1. Oh, wait, no, they're... They're in other... They're in Port Royal, I think, too. Okay, I gotta defeat the enemy gauntlet here. Oh, crap, wait, my computer isn't plugged in. No. I gotta plug it in. Okay. Okay. A lot of complications on this one. Oh man, these enemies are difficult. Bruh, they're trapping me. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. No! Bro! Do I have to re explore this whole room? Actually, there isn't that much to explore. But, I still have to get all the chests again, bruh. Okay, that's it. I'm using this attack up. Wait, what's this? MP haste? Okay. I'm interested. Drive converter. Oh! I didn't even know I had that. Okay. Lucky, lucky. Wait, form booth? Oh, wait. What? I thought I already... Oh, wait, I already have... Oh, I got another one! Bro. Okay, my dry forms are gonna be extremely epic now. get out of this room and then enter it again. Okay, that enemy took me by surprise. Uh, what else do I have to level up? Well, basically everything else, so... Eh... I'll do Wisdom. I feel like that'll benefit me more here. Plus, it has left, left Less left to uh, level up. Bro, that enemy is lasting forever. Die. Okay. No. No, I didn't ask. Okay, these guys are tough. Damn, bro. They're kicking my ass. Okay. Oh, uh, once I get the thunder, I'm gonna kill them. Oh, yeah, this drive converter makes my form last a lot longer. Okay, my magic doesn't work on them. Perhaps this was a poorly thought out plan. Bruh, no! No! Oh, yeah, I forgot to... Um. Oh, I have enough space for another thingy. Okay, I'm interested.
Okay. Okay, that works. They were right, the enemy gauntlets here are pretty brutal. Okay, I think he resists thunder. Goofy! on so far. Oh yeah, why am I spamming thunder? Fire is good, right? Okay, let me heal. Bro, these guys are annoying. Come on, come on. Yeah, I did it. Okay. Next room clear. Oh yeah, I still have some time left in this form. Damn, no save points? Well, it seems like a breather in comparison, at least. I love these guys. They look funny. Go, 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 ow. Oh. Damn it. Ah, damn it. No. Getting out of here. Interesting room. Yeah, this is basically a Mario level. I mean, not really, but... Feel more platformer-ish here than, like, basically any other level in this world in this game, bruh. Okay. Okay. I got this. Honestly, the fight, defeating those magic guys is a lot easier just with my normal form. Don't think they were meant to be fought in wisdom form. How oh, the freaking Tron Heartless. Okay, that guy is annoying. No, 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 no. Okay. These guys are really annoying. Let's go form. Oh, wait. Thunder isn't going to work against him either.
Damn, this guy's putting up a fight, that's for sure. Ow. Come on. Proud of that guy again. Oh wow, fire is pretty decent actually. Okay, can't get up there right now. I need the river. This freaking guy again. on a narrow edge or not bro they got the most annoying heartless like ever here come on I hope there's a save point in this area soon Bro. No. Those steam vents can screw off too. Okay. Oh, another room. Oh, what's this? Magic boost. That end. Unless there's another way around. Okay, there probably is. Bro, how the hell do I get that? Probably have to like fly all the way from the top or something. Oh no. Okay, wait. No, I don't know how to get up there. Well, I think this is a good place to stop. So, on the next episode, we're going to explore more of this cave. But, um, thank you all so much for watching the stream. If you like what you saw, feel free to follow. And check out the YouTube channel. Same channel name. Got a lot of other Kingdom Hearts content on there. Mario. Batoon. And a lot more. So if that sounds pretty cool, feel free to check it out. And I post updates on my Twitter and Discord. Okay, I gotta leave here. And where's the frickin' exit? Oh, 
Okay, see you later, everyone. Have yourselves a good day.